about a crab making a video showing how you crack and clean it. This one's a boy. You can tell because the apron is shaped like that. Pull that off. I reheated this, so this is going to be hot. But that's how it would be if I cooked it. So step one, you gotta pull that off and then you're gonna pull the whole shell off. And hopefully if you do it upside down like this, a bunch of the stuff that you're not really interested in will kind of just come out anyway. Um, oops, this yellow goo, it looks a lot like Dijon, and some people call it the mustard. Some people eat it, I don't like it. It does not taste like mustard. Um, then you get rid of the gills. They're, they, um, they feel like filters. Uh, can't eat them. You don't usually eat the front part here. But what you can do is then crack it in half. Get rid of anything that looks unappetizing. If the whole crab looks unappetizing to you, you can get rid of it at my address in the message. And I'll get rid of some of that mustard, but this is clean. Um, Usually when you go to the store, they say, you want that cracked and cleaned? And I'm like, it's half the fun. <laughs> I think I'm a weirdo. But that's because when I was a kid, we would get blue crab. So this will feed one person. Half a crab will feed one person, but I'm only one person and I have a whole crab. So it'll feed, a whole crab will feed one person in this instance too. Blue crabs, it's like three to six to feed one person. To give you a size comparison, they're much smaller. So that's it, that's clean. And then what you can do is, you can pull the legs off by themselves, or if you are lucky, sometimes you can crack the, yeah, the whole thing by the legs and break them off into smaller pieces. Don't eat that delicious meat with butter. We're by itself because it's good. It's a good crab. And um, I'll be honest, the way I usually crack it is I put this between my teeth. Just bite. And you do have to be careful because these these shells will cut you bad. And then I like to use um, the claw or these little last things as crab picks to get the meat out of the pieces I can't reach. That's it. I eat it with my hands. And the way they served them in Maryland, you'd get a mallet and a bib. And the table would be covered with newspaper and they just come and dump six dozen crabs on your table. We had a big party <laughs> with family, I should say. Anyway, that's cracking and cleaning a crab. Can't talk now. I got crab to eat.